I've just been sitting in my tripod glassing around and I noticed this big guy standing out here. And in the tripod we got a solid rest. Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Classic. So today we're here on Vattleball with the 30-06 Dutson for another Road to 100 video. We need 10 more harvests with the 30-06 Dutson to reach 100. And I was thinking that we would do an Ibex hunt, but normally when we hunt Ibex, uh, we hunt up in the north. But this time we're just going to try the south. I did this... I think it was to reach 90 harvest with the 30 odd six and I just got a lot of Ibex just heading up through here and then cutting down through this uh, kind of valley there. It worked out really well so hopefully it'll work again. So it looks like we're starting off with a pretty average sized male. We'll just spot him to get the score 82 185. It's a pretty decent range shot but the 30 odd six should be fine at that range. He is down, so nine more to go. That was probably a heart shot, but I did just notice he was max weight, so that's another one similar to Whitetail. I tend to track max weight Ibex, just because the chance of a giant male is always something that I want to go after, so definitely could have saved time by taking him out there and not ending up getting on his tracks. And I did just want to mention, because a lot of you guys have asked and I've responded to a lot of comments, uh, just asking if I've had any luck in rifle season in real life and I have not I just wanted to say that rather than getting a bunch of comments again uh, and responding to them but 166 score on our first Ibex not too bad hopefully we can get a solid like 240 plus this hunt but we'll see I've just been sitting in my tripod glassing around and I noticed this big guy standing out here I think we should get our 240 plus with him 185 to 295 score estimate but I think he looks to be probably 250s and in the tripod, we got a solid rest. Probably hit a bit high, but I don't think he's going to run too far. Yeah, should have caught one lung there. Actually, I'll mark him because that's a pretty nice Ibex. We definitely don't want to lose him. It's always such a relief for me uh, to get a nice animal early on in the hunt. I usually like to end with a nice animal, but just getting a nice animal somewhere in the hunt, it always just feels a lot better to me uh, when I can just have something good to show you guys. Uh, as opposed to just getting like a bunch of mediocre animals when there's at least one uh, and especially when there's several nice animals in the hunt I always just feel a lot better about how the video turns out I tend to be in a better mood for the rest of the hunt as well and not just kind of panicking uh, ignoring females and stuff uh, specifically looking for a nice male but this guy looks pretty good and actually he's not in a bad spot for a trophy shot there's definitely worse up here in the mountains let's see what we get for a score might actually be in the 240s 237, close enough to 240 for me. We did get the shoulder blade, so actually a 4.5 second wound time with a shoulder blade shot. That 30 odd six definitely has some power. Not a bad looking picture. I forgot that the Alpine camo boots don't show up still, so I'm appearing to be without feet, but we can ignore that. But yeah, a nice Ibex down already. We've got another male Ibex up here, 135 to 245. I think we'll take him there. Dropped on the spot and actually yeah, it should be good even if he slides all the way down I was wondering if I'd have to try to catch him on the way to avoid needing to use a med kit But we are good So we got for a score right lung shot and 166 score. I think that was the score of the first one as well We've got our first female ibex of the hunt Which really isn't that bad a thing because this hunt really is about uh, the number of harvests not necessarily the quality But a few quality harvests never hurt so that is Ibex number four for the hunt. I haven't really gotten the spawn in terms of number of animals that I was hoping for, but I don't think we're going to get 10 in this stretch. We might end up uh, going up north just a bit uh, for a few Ibex, but we should get a couple more still. But here is our female. We'll just pick her up and check the score. Double lung shot on her and 104 score. I should just show as well, I've passed the arrow that I drew, but I'm just kind of going along the mountains here, just continuing until I can't go any further. We've got another male Ibex here, 85 to 190 square estimate. Pretty close range shot, actually. He is down. There's definitely... Ooh, I really should have looked to my left. I don't know if you guys caught that, but there was a very nice Ibex that just escaped over there. I want to try to hit this female maybe but actually this guy's heading back this way 
All right. I'm not going to take a shot at the female up there, even though I could, because he stopped just down there, and we should probably be able to find a place that we can take a shot at him, so I'm just going to start crawling over to claim this other one first. So here is our Ibex. Check the score that we got. 32 meter shot and a 167 score. The advantage we have, actually I see that other big Ibex. I was going to say he's going to end up coming back up here, I think, uh, because that's kind of the end. That's actually not even him. That's another male. Uh, that's kind of the end of the Ibex territory down there. They don't really very often at all run down off the mountain, and that's exactly what that big male did. So I expect him to come back. I don't know if I should shoot that small one in front of us, because I think what might happen is he's going to spook in the direction of the bigger one anyway uh, for me to keep going. So I think maybe if we can see to take a shot at him, we'll probably just take that one. We'll just have to scoot to the right a bit. And we might actually just have that other one run back up uh, in front of us here. And if not, we should be able to see him actually if we just go up to the edge of the cliff there. I'm just going to run over here. So if he did take off, we can get an idea of where he went. But I think that's going to be his track. I'm not sure about that, but... Got another Ibex running around. That one's a female, though. Let's see what we got for a score on this one. Take a break from the rain. Another 166 score. And how many Ibex have we gotten now? We have six total. I don't really think we're going to be able to get that other male that we saw, but we do have another one out here, 85 to 190 square. So we'll take him out, and I'll show you why I don't think we're going to be able to get the other one. I really wish it would stop raining, though. That's just getting annoying. He is down. I did see another couple of Ibex out here, though I can't even see them running. Uh, but basically, he's somewhere up there, uh, and I was kind of hoping he'd end up over on this side because you can see the climbing gear on my hunter mate uh, basically where we were you cannot just walk from there to here you have to go down the mountain and then back up uh, by taking the climbing gear so unfortunately I don't really see any way of reaching him but I don't think he was like huge he was probably right around the range of the other one that we had but we need three more 30 out 6 harvests here is our male 191 meters left lung shot. Man, I hate the rain. 174 score on him. So we got to get three more to reach 100. We might just go down into the river area now because there's not much Ibex territory left to hunt up here. We'll hunt the rest of it just to see if there's any more up here. But after that, I think rather than fast traveling and using a bunch of camping supplies to get to the north part, we'll probably just go down to the river for a few harvests. So, no more Ibex up there, but we got a roe deer female out here in the river. We'll see if we can get her with the 30 odd 6. I hate when they're walking on the rocks because they kind of... If they step off the rock or step onto one, they'll... Their hitbox basically just changes really quickly and it's easy to miss or really mess up a shot, but... She is down, so we'll need two more harvests. There's one stuck out there, but roe deer females are kind of boring, so... She'll get to live another day. And here is our road deer. Double lung shot on her. And we will continue and try to get our last two harvests. We've got a pretty decent looking stag up here. 195 to 220 score estimate. And he's definitely spooked. I don't know if this tiny rock's going to give us a platform to go prone on. Apparently it is, so we'll go for our shot from here. We might have to just catch one lung. Whatever we got, it definitely worked. He is down. So, one more harvest after him to go. I'll try not to make it a roe deer female. We'll just let them run off once again. So, here is our red deer stag, and it stopped raining. So, hopefully it will not rain the rest of the hunt. 215 score. That's definitely not bad. But we've had the rain start and stop, I think, four times now. So, hopefully it's done. That's probably the most annoying thing about this game. That stag might actually be bigger. Let's take a look at it. Uh, similar size for sure. I don't think he's spooked, so we should be able to just call him back. Rather than spooking him trying to get a shot since he's down over that hill. He's definitely not bigger. 190 to 215, so his maximum is what the last one scored. But we'll take him out anyway. 
the one that you just heard calling over there is actually smaller. I did see him. So that's not going to be a bad 100th harvest for our 30-06 Stutzen. Should be like right about a 200 scoring red deer, so definitely not bad. So here is our red deer. We actually didn't do too bad with our Ibex hunt either. I wish we could have gotten that one other decent one that we saw, but unfortunately he just got to an area that we couldn't get to. But a 194 score on this stag. I think we'll just ignore the trophy shot, but that is the 130 out of 6 Stutzen board action rifle harvest. So that is going to be it for this video. Definitely wasn't a bad hunt. Two pretty decent red deer as well as a pretty nice Ibex as well. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.